it's the 20th of September and the upload I'm sharing this morning is just an update with regard to the circumstances of the professional property theft, the identity theft and most pertinently for this upload the creative and intellectual theft. Um, now as I've mentioned there have been in this society a lot of incidents that have um, been subject to inaccurate, incorrect information <clears throat> and there have been individuals accessing from my portfolio um, as a graduate, as a graduate of language and cultural studies. This is most relevant to the field of philanthropy and anthropology and the creative arts. So my qualifications from the University of Limerick, as I've mentioned in previous uploads, have been defamed. Um, I had a very fully rounded experience at the University of Limerick and it was absolutely out of this world um, how much I experienced. Now my qualifications as an educator, I'm level nine on the framework. And um, my, my expertise have been disrespected to accommodate individuals climbing up the ladder um, from my portfolio. There's been creative intellectual theft and there have been individuals accessing um, royalties that are being illegally accessed. Now, it's bad enough that there's illegal orders uh, regarding my child that was officially um, abducted um, from me in January 2017. That's quite dangerous enough, but that these people have been of damages, harms and losses and very bad publicity. Their portfolio of work, their repertoire of work is based on defamation and damages to people's reputations. Um, so this is since 2006. I don't think this is commendable, but this is what I'm confronted with. So um, this is going on since 2006. I've been experiencing damages, harms and losses, and there's a constant uh, run and jump, hide, evade, avoid, you know, uh, do all you can within your power to not confront what your debt is to Maria McElligot. Now, this ni nicely, tightly knit group in County Kerry and Tralee have caused a worldwide fiasco, charade, a very dangerous obstruction and very poor professionalism, I might add. Um, they have caused a cycle of damages um, that are officially considered hate crime. So the issue of individuals that have been accessing royalties that are actually only my entitlement is another incident of very dangerous offence that I'm tolerating. So there's not just the issue of the illegal care orders of my child, there's the disrespect to my marital records. Um, I'm a property owner, whether these people are able to come to terms with this now, I don't seem to be able to fathom how they're discussing my properties. Um, I have two farm holdings from my marriage that subsequently seem to, you know, I didn't know, but they're from my ancestral bloodline as well. My husband and I were related and a distant, very distant relation, but it's absolutely fascinating. Um, my, tra my track record, my family's records um, are able to go back to the 1800s, 1700s from where I married. So as of 2015, I became a property owner. Um, before then, I was an educator, but I became a married mother. And um, since then, this community is discussing my marriage and my property, and they have no entitlement. Now, anyone that thinks they're going to be changing matrimony, um, you know, matrimonial information, excuse me, as of 2015, uh, that's a very dangerous criminal offence. I, I, I'm a married mom. And anybody um, with um, intentions to procure from my marriage and my child, um, I think are doing themselves a disservice. Um, so I find it quite astonishing that anyone's able to discuss the properties of my child, my husband and I, uh, without my consent.
Now, it, we're not, um, you know, this is a democracy and I'm fully aware of all the fraud that has already been happening. But there are people that are walking on property that I have not consented them to be trespassing upon to. So it's very kind of um, impetuous. It, it's very unsafe that um, I'm experiencing what I'm experiencing. I've worked for three state departments, I have a very clean track record. And as I've mentioned, my work has really benefited and prospered people's lives um, for if, advertently and inadvertently. Um, my success rate has been quite good. And I'm not going to be embarrassed about saying that. Um, as I've said, my work has brought about Brexit and my work has brought about COVID. So um, that has been an objective for a long time. Now, in Tralee County Kerry, there are people imposing upon my identity. They're not fulfilling their obligations, as I've mentioned, and they're helping themselves to royalties. They have absolutely no right to be doing what they're doing. And since 2006, I might refresh people's memories. Since 2006, these liabilities in this community incurring damages, harms and losses upon my profession have been causing casualties very huge casualties and those huge casualties became most apparent when they decided to enact or introduce unlawful care orders against my child to withhold my child from me and to unlawfully detain me now this idea of withholding an heir from a mother and intruding upon a family unit is a very criminal offense against any land act against any democratic act or law or any constitutional law. Um, the aspect of this that I find astonishing is not just the royalties, but the property records. So those individuals on my ancestral marital properties are really uh, taking upon themselves another round of circumstances that we've already seen in the past three years and everyone knows what's happened as a consequence of these social influencers, trendsetters, liabilities really, um, stealing from my properties. So those that are conducting any fraud with regard to anything that I've mentioned in this matter, creative intellectual property, um, is the, the hot topic of this one, but the farms as well. Um, I, I, I hope I hope everyone's able to refresh their memory and see how dangerous it's already been accommodating any more offences that haven't been um, resolved, addressed or cordially uh, consensual for any person from my property or belongings in any way, my patronage in any way for them to be, you know, benefiting, exploiting from my land or my work. Um, there's a very dangerous situation going on in County Kerry. They're doing what they like, they're causing problems, they're not paying their way, and people's lives are being put at risk. So anyone claiming ownership of anything that they don't own, or discussing anything that I own without my permission, anyone that's conducted anything academic, anything academic, um, that's another aspect of this. Any individuals out there that have uh, a portfolio of work uh, in the field of psychology or sociology, etc., with regard to the past five years, without discussing that with me, that's a problem as well. So these people don't get to do what they like. Um, unfortunately, we've seen the repercussions of what has happened when they did. Um, the past three years has seen a very difficult outcome for their actions and insults and offences against people's wealth and well-being. So I hope everyone is learning a lesson. I'm in 18 Rock Street. My apartment's been broken into. Um, I'm experiencing disturbances of the peace. I'm experiencing impoverishment and my house is in Tupperd Hill. Uh, my child is a missing person. So would anyone out there from the Department of Justice Please have a bit of, you know, really, um, th there's been a lesson. I hope we're learning. And those conducting identity theft and living off my work and royalties, um, it it's quite dangerous enough already that there's anyone on my land here at Fert and Kilflin. It's quite dangerous what's going on.